सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू आर चैनल सो इन अवर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव लेफ्ट विद वी हैड स्टार्टेड विद द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ आई आई आर स्ट्रक्चर विच इज फ्रॉम मॉड्यूल फाइव ओके एंड इन इन दैट आई आई आर स्ट्रक्चर आई टोल्ड यू वी हैव टू डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ फॉर्म्स वन इज डायरेक्ट फॉर्म वन डी एफ वन एंड वन इज डायरेक्ट फॉर्म टू डी एफ टू एंड हाउ टू यूज दैट डी एफ वन एंड डी एफ टू एंड सॉल्व द आई आई आर सिस्टम इक्वेशन and i have also told you iir system equation consists of both x of n and y of n terms okay our goal here is to bring y of n to one side and rest all the terms to other side if if they have given it in the say, this only form then don't need to replace it sometimes they won't be giving you in direct form they would be giving you with the left hand side and our right hand side terms separately we should be making it uh, uh, equal to this like this form okay where we consists of y of n in one side and rest all the terms in one side and then use the direct form structures df1 df2 and Draw the blocks. Okay, so we have discussed this much in our previous sessions. So those who have not watched it, again I am telling you I, in each and every video I tell you please watch my previous videos. Those who have not watched because if you start watching from here you won't be understanding anything. Okay, so please watch my previous videos and then come and watch this video. Like this video before you watch and watch till the end, guys. Okay, thank you. So now let us start with the this problem now. This is the problem now. They have given in this. They have not. Uh, we need. Do, we not. We need not to simplify this. They have already given y of n in one side and rest all the terms in one side. Okay. So directly we can write the df1 structure. Okay. So I have told you right. Df1 structure consists of input x of n and output y of n. Okay. First draw like this. Then group all the x of n terms. Okay. So these all are the x of n terms here, like this. And these terms are the y of n terms. So x of n terms consists of n, n minus one, n minus two. So we have till n minus two. So you know that if we have till x of n minus two, we need to draw, be drawing two delays, right? So from here, draw two delays down. One is z inverse. One more z inverse. And from these two points, we have one is x of n minus one. Those these things you might be knowing till now. Those are watching the videos regularly. Okay. So the coefficient of x of n is six now. So the here we should be writing six on summer, and from here x of n minus one coefficient is seven. This one more summer because we have one more delay. So x of n minus two coefficient is one. Okay. So the input side block we have drawn. Now similarly draw the output side block. Okay. The terms are y of n minus one and y of n minus two, so that's why we need to be drawing two more delays here in the output side as well. One is uh, z inverse, z inverse, y of n minus one, y of n minus two. Okay, so from here the value of uh, y of n coefficient is one. So one summer is required here. Note the direction. Y of n minus one is point seven five. And here we have minus point one two five. Okay, so here we will be having one more summer. This would be meeting here, and this we should be joining at the end. Okay, yeah. So this is the DF one structure we have drawn for this system function. Hope this is clear. So now using this DF one structure, we should be drawing the structure of DF two. Okay. So I have told you right what to do in DF two. The input and output structures. Inputs and outputs x of n and y of n won't be changing its value, its position. It will be remaining as it is. Only the structures will be getting interchanged. Okay, that is now I'll draw it now. X of n. Now bring this structure here. So one summer will be coming at the at the beginning. Nothing. This whatever structure is there, print it here in the input side. That's it. Then this is uh, one plus one. One more summer. So here we have one delay. So here this is point seven five. This is minus point one two five, right? Yeah, I've drawn the output structure. Now similarly, this structure. This is z inverse. Z inverse. Seven, one. This is six. We have one summer here. 
we have one more somewhere here and this is the output so yeah we have interchanged and we have drawn the df2 structures again so now again we can uh, uh, reduce this by combining these two delays as one single delay and these two delays as one single delay and write our final df2 structure that is again rewrite the structure one so here we would be having one single delay now So this is 0.75 minus 0.125 so these two are combined into one single delay we have one common point now from here it is 7 so here we have one summer this is 6 this is 1 we have one more summer here and this is the final structure with the output y of n. So hope this is clear. This is our final df2 structure here. Okay. This is df1 structure. And here df2 structure. I have just replaced the structures. Whatever there is, is there in the output side. I have written in the input side. And whatever is there in the input side. I have written in the output side. Okay. And I have redrawn the structure. And now this df2 structure. Since these two are having common delays and common points. I have just combined this in with the single delay. And draw the final df2 structure. Okay. So in this way the problem should be coming for uh, 6 marks I guess, this uh, IIR structure problem. So please note it down very carefully. So we have one more problem, let us solve this and wind that session, wind this session. So this is the next question here. So the question given here is, to the following transfer function h of z, draw the relevant structures of df1 and df2. Okay. Now this is not a direct question here, they have not given any direct value of y of n, they have given h of z in this form here, okay, h of z is equal to this term. So here our goal here is to find the term y of n, that is we should be having y of n in one side and rest all the terms in other side, okay, for, for that, again this is a very important problem and these kind of problems should be asking for the exam, this is one complicated problem very easy just do should we should be doing some of the simplification part that's it okay so this is the question here let us see how we how we would be able to get the value of y of n okay so this is h of z first thing is this h of z is a transfer function right so what is a transfer function basically relationship between output and input output is y of z and input is x of z so output divided by input is transfer function right so h of z would be replaced by y of z by x of z is equal to this term write it as it is 1 minus 5 z inverse plus 6.25 z power minus 2 divided by 1 plus 2 z inverse minus 3 z power minus 2 now cross multiply that is y of z into this term that is 1 plus 2 z inverse plus 3 z power minus 2 is equal to x of z into this term that is 1 minus 5 z inverse plus 6.25 z power minus 2 okay now multiply y of z here that is y of z plus 2 y of z z inverse plus 3 y of z z power minus 2 that is equal to x of z minus 5 x of z z inverse plus 6.25 x of z, z power minus 2. Okay. Now apply the z transform. That is y of z. Uh, sorry. Apply the inverse z transform. y of z would be replaced by y of n. Then plus 2 into y of z, z inverse. So we have z power minus 1 here. So y of n minus 1. Similarly plus 3. y of z, z power minus 2. So y of n minus 2 is equal to x of z is replaced by x of n minus 5 x of since we have z inverse so n minus 1 plus 6.25 x of n minus 2 now we have this kind of system function in this we should be bringing y of n term to one side so that's why these two terms here would be going into other side by changing its sign so our final y of n equation would be equal to write, write this whole term first as it is x of n minus 5 x of n minus 1 plus 6.25 
x of n minus 2 now this would the sign would be changed that is minus 2 y and y of n minus 1 minus 3 y of n minus 2 so this is our system function which we have got by solving it using the transfer function we have got this system function now for this we should be drawing the df1 and df2 structures okay so first structure is df1 df1 I have told you right input x of n output y of n so in, a, in, in, in input x of n consider only the x of n terms and output y of n consider only the y of n terms so x of n terms we have till x of n minus 2 so we should be drawing two delays right yeah so one is one delay two delay so here the coefficient of x of n is 1 so no need to write anything coefficient of x of n minus 1 is minus 5 along with the summer x of n minus 2 coefficient is plus 6.25 and this would be joining here so this is the input side we have drawn similarly for output side we have y of n minus 1 y of n minus 2 again we should be drawing two delays the coefficient of y of n is 1 then here y of minus 2 y of n minus 1 so this is minus 2 so and this is minus 3 so here we have one summer one more and these two would be joined together and this is our df1 structure okay so this is clear how i have drawn this df1 structure so now using this df1 structure we should be dra drawing the df2 structure okay again i have told you what is df2 structure replace input and output sides interchange it and the position of inputs and outputs should not be changing that is x of n and y of n it should be remaining as it is only the structures we have drawn interchange it and combine the delays okay so now let us draw the final df2 structure after the combination of delays that is uh, after we replace these two we would be see you can see that these two are com common delays right so that would be com combining together and let's write the final structure that is x of n y of n right first like this then here we are having one summer and here we are having one more summer and here we are having one delay point Z inverse this is uh, minus 5 these two are 1 ok this is 6.25 and it meets the summer here so this is minus 2 minus 3 so this is the final df2 structure for this problem ok yeah so that's all for this uh, IIR structures guys we have seen uh, different kinds of IIR structures and we have solved all of them okay so hope you under understood some of the concepts from this session we have solved two important problems related to IIR structures so please uh, watch the video till the end if you want to understand these concepts in brief so in the from the next session we are going to start with one more topic that is uh, designing of linear phase FIR filters using windows okay Till now we have seen the linear phase filters using uh, the direct form and uh, cascaded form structures right. Now let us con see the concepts of windows ok. Though there uh, nothing much to do we have some uh, critical 5 important windows. Those uh, windows would be consisting of some several set of formulas that you should be by hearting because those uh, formulas you should be remembering. If you don't remember you cannot solve those problems ok. If you remember that the rest of the solving of the problems are very very easy okay you can understand it very uh, briefly so these are the two structures we have discussed till now one is fir structures and iir structures okay one is from module 4 and one is from module 5 so that's all for this session guys please do like and share and share and subscribe let us see you in the next video thank you